Mark, what's your take on that one today? Uh, frustrating in the end, Henry. I think um, you know we had a game plan. We came here, worked well at it. I thought uh, first half, especially, we did very well. Yes, they came into it in, in the in the second half, and we had to soak up a lot of pressure. You know, but small instances change games, and that's what happened. You know, it, it starts off with, with the ball going through, and it comes up and, and hits hits uh, George's hand. The referee gives a free kick, and then. Ball gets played wide, the fella gets a bad first touch, but it bobbles behind Omar, he gets a toe to it, it bobbles into the box, and you know, two or three instants later, it, it bobbles around and, and ends up in front of the fella. And he, a good finish in the end, but you know, that was the instance that was going to win or lose a game for you, and it, and it happened for them. So, you know, we changed it later on then and went to a 4 4 2 to try and press forward a bit more. And you know, Liam had a chance at the end, I think, possibly. His own honesty, if you like, has, has stopped us getting a penalty. He was dragged down and dragged down, but he stayed on his feet. And then uh, possibly could have had a penalty, resulting in melee from that. So little things on the day like that determine games, and it went against us today. Just a case of um, on another day, you never know what could happen, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I said to the lads after, you know, I'm, I'm proud of the shift of work they put in. I said the game the game plan went, albeit in the, in the instance with the goal, it went really well. You know, we had situations like Michael Alissi coming into the side very late on. And um, I, I thought the young lad did, did fantastic on the day. You know what I mean? We had a situation with uh, Ovi in the warm-up. He, he felt his groin had to pull out of the game. So, uh, you know, it was a very quick change and Michael's gone into the situation and, and I said, did very well. You've touched on the first half already as well, with Leeds being the sort of side they are with the physicality that they bring. And uh, the team won a lot of their battles out there and it was just a shame that it couldn't sort of translate for the full yeah, and that's, that's 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 the, the, the goal in thing now because, you know, as I say, we came in knowing, knowing we could come away with something. And I said, we had a game plan, we worked on it, all the lads bought into it and, and, and were happy with the way we played. And in one instance, the guy turns it, which, again, I've said many times, it's very, very fine margins in this league and things that win you and lose your games. And we've, we've come away today gutted, really, because you know we feel we've come all this way against the top side and, and deserve to come away with something in the game, and we haven't. And it's a very quick turnaround against the team on Wednesday that are fighting for altogether different priorities come the end of the season. So yeah, yeah. And I, I said to the guys after, look, I'm proud. I'm proud of the, the shift they put in today. And I said, you know, we take those qualities that we show today uh, with a little bit more perhaps guide, a little tiny bit more quality in, in the final third areas. But if we take those qualities into the next two home games, we'll win them. And uh, Wigan as well are really sort of fighting down the wrong end of the table, but that presents a different challenge, but it's still like, no less difficult, I suppose. No, no, and I think they won today against Millwall, so they'll be coming to us, you know, buoyant, and and they'll again they'll cause us different problems. We'll have different different expectations and problems to face in the next two home games because we'd expect it to go and win them. So you know we've got to we've got to embrace that that expectancy and, and make sure that we, we're up for the fight and, and do things right, make the right choices on the day and, and get the results that we need and, and, and we deserve. Especially with Wednesday being the first of three home games in a row, including the Cup game too, yeah. so it'll be a good chance to make it a bit of a fortress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, we, we'll, we'll, we'll pick the bones out of this game over the next couple of days and then we'll start preparing for Wednesday and make sure that, uh, that we're, we're ready for it and everybody's confident and that we can come away with the three points.